So here are all the pieces, and if you've seen their deluxe arcade kit, these are the same hinges that they include on that kit. So I know that this hardware is really nice. These are all cam lock systems, so easy to open and close, as well as easy to assemble. You really don't even need any power tools. You can do this all by hand if you want to, and um, it should be fairly easy. Here's the plexiglass, and then here's the artwork I got. I got the red and blue flames. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut out the buttons you want. To start, I'm not gonna cut out the four up top here. Right in here, those are gonna line right up. All right, so I seem to have the whole base done. The hardest thing to do is just to know that the, 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 um, the front comes on directly on like that. And once that's all on, it just kind of all snaps into place. So, and then you just gotta give it a turn until, and you'll feel it'll be a nice secure turn to get these together. You'll know whether you're on the correct bolt or not. It's a nice firm fit. For the actual wiring of the buttons, I'm going to skip this part. I'm going to put a link in the description to the uh, video I made where I, what, I showed these buttons and how I wired it and tested it and made sure it all worked. There's a bunch of different encoders, a bunch of different buttons you can use. So you got a lot of options here, um, but basically you just want to make sure you have all the wires you need and then you could start putting them in the kit. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight to the part of just putting them on the kit. So first thing I'm going to do is just carve out the holes here for all the buttons. I'm not going to be using these four buttons here, so um, I'm not going to cut those ones out, but I am going to have six buttons in a start and a select. And you can usually feel around, you can feel it. Buttons are in. Now we gotta do the sticks and then the wiring. You wanna be extra cautious, you could just go ahead and take a 10 millimeter and do like one extra. Uh, hit, but I mean that's on there. I mean I can almost hold it from there. I'm not going to, but I potentially could. Now really quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and take the ball off this. The second one, take off the cat.
All right, we're all wired. I got it hooked up to the power supply. Plug the power supply in. I have one bad bulb, it looks like, or there's something wrong. I tried the polarity. Some of these weren't working. You have to switch the positive to the negative on the LEDs, but I got those all working. Everything is now plugged in and should be working. I have all the encoders plugged in. All I need to do now is run the USB cables from the encoders, and put everything into the box, and then screw in the hinges. So I'm gonna unplug it. And then go ahead and get this all put together. So I am just gonna put everything in the box here, including the power supply. One thing I may should have done is wire the power supply so the power supply hangs on the outside. But, or what I could do is put a power strip inside of here. I mean, I have a couple of different options for that. But for the meantime, I wanna get these hinges on there. So in order to do that, I have a couple of different methods. Uh, one is to just go in like this and go ahead and swing these down and then just put them on. What I could do is put a little spacer and then while that spacer's on there, screw in the screws. So it seems like I might just need like an inch or two, so. Maybe like a pen. Yeah, I mean a pen is about the right about the right length there. So I have just enough T molding from my last arcade build that this should work. So starting from the back, So when you get to a turn, you do want to kind of cut out a bunch.
So here we go. We now have our arcade sticks put in. We have our all of our um, T-molding on. Everything is wired up. At this point, you have a couple of options. You could put a power strip in here and then just run the power cord out the back. That's definitely a great option. And then just have everything from the LED lights and actually put the Raspberry Pi inside of here. Maybe a great thing to use is some, uh, some Velcro. Velcro will allow you to still pull them out, but it'll keep them in there. Um, and then you have your two USBs, which will go directly into your Pi for your controllers. So two player, we'll just go two players into the Pi. And then you need your power, and then you need to run HDMI into your uh, either computer or monitor, wherever, um, to your, from your screen to your computer, whatever you're running. So this will still all shut in there, fine, no problem. And now we have a two player arcade stick with everything. Uh, LED lights are here to plug in. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. Something I did learn in the doing this, you'll notice that two of the lights are out. I actually burned out those lights because um, I ran 12 volt power. The particular kit I was using was only six volt. There's some kits that use 12, some that use six. So do be aware of what kind of volt um, LEDs you have. I did order some replacements. Those are coming. Should be here in the next couple of days. But for the meantime, I have two empty buttons. But as you see, you now have a six player arcade stick. You can add four extra buttons at the top if you like custom graphics, team molding. It opens up. Total weight with the Pi in there and the power supply is probably close to 20 pounds. It's definitely not light. This thing is made of wood, but it makes a great complement to you know any gaming room. Um, if you're pretty hardcore, you could definitely transport this around. I've taken things like this to Starbucks before, but um, I just don't think you would bring it to everywhere. It's not. It's definitely not portable. But uh, at the same time, it's definitely way easier to move than a bar top or something like that. It's definitely high quality, definitely sturdy, and definitely has a professional look to it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one.